When we talk about total cost, our total cost is composed of fixed cost and variable cost. What do we mean by fixed cost? Fixed cost it means that it's independent from our level of production, which is Q. Which means if we produce 10 million units or a million unit or zero units, we have to pay the same cost. The second type of cost is the variable cost. And variable cost is dependent on our level of production, which is Q. Which means if we produce 10 million units, our variable cost will be high. If we produce less, such as 1 million, our variable cost will decrease. If we produce zero, our variable cost will be zero. So, if we'd like to look at our break-even point. So, what do you mean by break-even point? Break-even point, it means that our sales is equal to operating cost. What do you mean by operating cost? Operating cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. Therefore, if our sales is equal to operating cost, this will give us our break-even point, which means this will be the point that will make our earnings before interest and tax is equal to zero. Therefore, if we produce a quantity lower than our break-even point, or we can give it simple Q star, we will make a loss. If we produce at a quantity bigger than Q star, we will make a gain. So let's look at our income statement here. This is a traditional income statement that we have. We have here COGS, we have here SG and A, and we have here depreciation. And then if I got sales minus COGS minus SG and A minus depreciation, it will give us EBIT. So I can take these three costs together and I can call them and I can call them operating cost. And this operating cost includes fixed cost and variable cost. So I can write it as 100 minus fixed cost of 10 minus variable cost of 75. So this will give us a bit of 15, which is the same. And then we will have the rest of the financial statement as it is. Therefore, when we look at our income statement, from sales till EBIT, this refers to our operation. And that's why we will call it the operating part. Why? Because for any manufacture manufacturing firm, they have cost of goods sold, which is the cost of production. They have selling general administrative expense, which is the payment to the white cooler, such as sales people, such as marketeers such as CEOs, administrative staff, CFO, accountants, IT. We have depreciation because we use machine. And we said that all these three are called operating cost, which is includes fixed and variable. And then once we get a bit here, if we subtract interest and taxes, we'll end up with net income. Therefore, this part is called non-operating or we can call it financial. So let's draw it. How are we going to draw it? Our fixed cost here is a horizontal line. Our variable cost will start from zero, but we didn't draw it in order to have less graphs. Our total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. Therefore, it will have the same shape of the variable cost, but it will start from here, from the fixed cost. And then we have our sales, which starts from zero, the blue line. So if you look at the point of intersection between our total cost and sales, this will give us our break-even point. So what do you mean by break-even point? It means that our sales is equal to operating cost. Operating cost includes total cost and operating cost includes fixed cost and variable cost. Therefore, if sales is equal to operating cost, this means that our EBIT is equal to zero. Therefore, what will happen if we produce at a quantity below our break-even point, such as Q1 here? I will discover that here, my total cost or operating cost is bigger than my sales. Therefore, we make a gain or loss, we make a loss. What if we produce at a quantity above our break-even point, such as here, Q2? So we discover that our sales is bigger than our total cost, consequently, we make a gain. And that's why the minimum quantity we will accept to produce is the quantity at break-even point. Therefore, what will be the formula of break-even point? So we said that our break-even point is the point where we have our sales equal to operating cost, 
which includes fixed cost and variable cost. Consequently, our EBIT is equal to zero. Therefore, what's our sales? Our sales is price times quantity. How do we calculate operating cost? It's fixed cost plus variable cost per unit multiplied by the quantity. Therefore, if I'd like to get here EBIT equals sales minus operating cost, this will give us price times quantity minus open bracket fixed cost plus variable cost per unit multiplied by quantity. If you would like to rearrange this formula to put quantity in one side, all other variables on the other side, so we'll end up with this formula, which means our break even point or our Q star is equal to our fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost per unit.